Hey everyone, I hope you are all doing all right and welcome to the very last uh, Hunt developer live stream of 2020. And today we are here with Sinia, game designer. Hey, hey Sinia. Hello. And as always with Dennis. Hey. And uh, on this very special stream, we are going to be talking about our uh, last event this year which is our very first winter themed event blood and ice and i hope you guys will enjoy it we have a lot of cool stuff to show you today so uh let's dive into it and let's see what we have in store for you all today so uh, as i said it's blood and ice and uh, i think we should actually start uh, by looking at our little teaser which uh, you may have already seen on our youtube channel or on social media but now uh, let's take a look at it uh, together exactly so that was a cool little teaser and i promise we have even maybe a trailer to show you in a bit which will be very <laughs> exciting so uh, let's talk about this new live event and what it is really about so as i said earlier this is our second live event uh, we had the halloween event which uh, i think was very successful and you guys really liked it we really enjoyed it as well so we decided to make another one for uh, this holiday season and this is our first winter themed event yeah, so I, I hope you're all excited. You, you have, you've seen already in the last years, we've already done like something around Christmas, right? Like putting little like socks on the spider, for example. Um, everything being kind of like nest, like dressed up a little bit for the season. And uh, yeah, this time we go a little step further now that we have our event framework in place, as you've already seen with the Halloween event. Exactly. And uh, this event is actually even bigger than the last event, which means that maybe you heard that there are some Twitch drops. Uh, uh, I, I think we saw it somewhere, but I'm not sure. Maybe we'll talk about <laughs> it a bit maybe. in more detail. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. And maybe you can even win more stuff this time. So it's win-win for everyone. <laughs> I think it's a little bit bigger, it's a bit more rewards, that's the additional uh, Twitch part uh, to the event. So we'll talk about all of that now in the next half an hour. And uh, of course, since uh, it seems like events are very cool, we enjoyed them a lot, you enjoyed them a lot, so why not have more? So we will have more events coming uh, in the next year as well. Uh, we kind of mentioned this already a little bit when we talked about the Halloween event last time. So like events moving forward is an important new Slack area for us. And uh, we want to expand on that further. And we have some really, really exciting ideas um, for the next year. So yeah, stay tuned more. Yeah, but uh, this time we obviously gonna talk about this event, so let's look at the winter event, and uh, you know I mentioned that trailer a second ago? Let's take a look at it. Uh, I think you guys actually can't see it, so <laughs> let me fix that quickly for you. Uh. Hmm. It doesn't really want to play the trailer, so... Let's wait a second uh, while I fix this, so <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I think I think I think I did it, guys. Sorry. <laughs> oh, the suspense. <laughs> Got it.
yeah so after the technical difficulties you could see our amazing trailer and i think it revealed a lot already but uh, obviously in this stream we gonna talk uh, in more detail what is exactly uh, the event itself how it works how you earn the rewards how the twitch drop works so let's just dive into it and uh, yeah let's talk about how it works oh yeah so uh, the event itself, uh, during the event, players will earn exclusive rewards by collecting event points. If you participate in, were participating in the Halloween event, you remember that you were collecting points into the mission and they were uh, put into the uh, progress bar. So it's exactly the same flow. So we'll, you will be interacting with the in-game objects, collecting points, and uh, will progress uh, to unlock uh, such a nice exclusive legendaries. And there will be also new activities, like a bit different interaction with the event objects. And as we mentioned as well, there will be a bit, a bit uh, different support from the Twitch. But a bit, a bit uh, further about this. Exactly. And uh, as with the Halloween event, we even have more new activities for you this time. Uh, as you probably seen some stuff in the trailer itself, but uh, we will dive into it in a few seconds for you to explain how it is exactly. But first of all, a lot of you asked, uh, when, when is the Twitch event starting? Uh, when is it? So let's just talk about the duration. So, are you ready? It starts in uh, 20 minutes, guys. And it's for two weeks until the 30th of December, 3 p.m. So that's European time. So, uh, yeah, it's CET. So that's 20 minutes, basically. So I hope you guys are all ready. Uh, you probably already have the patch downloaded, so just wait the time, restart your clients, and you have the event. <laughs> and uh, also, most importantly, the event is planning on all platforms. Exactly, so doesn't matter if you're playing on PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, the event is there for you, and uh, it will last the same duration for everyone, so make sure to play during this time and earn all the exclusive rewards you can get. But let's uh, take an overview at the event and uh, what are the new additions. So we have the new Trust event page. It's also you you, you can be uh, familiar with the progress bar from the Halloween. So the same progress bar, but seems it's a winter themed event. It's it's very, very nice winter art there. So the same progress bar where you can see all items uh, that you will be able to unlock collecting um, event points. There is also event duration, as, as for previous event, uh, block with the event rules, where we explain how, how you can collect points, uh, what the value for each ob object to interact, and with the daily cap, which is also a bit further about this, and with the banner for Twitch. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's, let's just have a look uh, so you guys can actually see it in action. So as you can see, uh, her, her, there's the description of the event, the rules, and the whole progression bar. Obviously, we will tell you more about the progression bar a bit later, but uh, you can see the whole duration and uh, obviously the in-game news for the Twitch as well, but we will also show that in a bit. But at least you see uh, this whole new event page. Uh, if you also played during our uh, Halloween event, then maybe this is somewhat familiar to you, but now it's a uh, holiday winter team, so... <laughs> Yeah, and other than the event page, uh, we also have the new menu dressing, which you guys may have already seen, because I've seen uh, quite a few posts about <laughs> it online. Yeah, we've, we've teased it a little bit already the last days, um, so obviously like everything uh, winter celebration-wise is back, and uh, yeah, have a look at it as well. Yeah, so, but uh, you actually have seen it like last year as well, I believe, or something similar, and uh, now it's back. Let's take a look. So as you can see, we have some nice uh, snow snowing in the menu. Sadly, in Louisiana, we don't have much snow, but at least in the menus we do so. <laughs> well, there can still be some snow once in a while. I think it, actually the year 1895 actually was quite uh, snow heavy for Louisiana. For oh, really? That area. How much it affected the actual Bayou, that's uh, something I cannot answer. But I mean, Louisiana <laughs> is more than just a Bayou. Okay. And uh, as always, we have our seasonal theme song so if you tuned in in the beginning of the stream when we started 
we actually already sh uh, showed it to you but when you go into the menus instead of the typical humming you may hear some ho 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 sounds as well <laughs> <laughs> ho 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 ah, i love it <laughs> and some nice jingly sounds it's very funny and uh i think very cool for with our team song so make sure to check it out as well but let's dive into uh, the rules and how the event actually uh, works as, as was mentioned before, there is uh, the same way how to collect event points and we still keep uh, the theme that you can earn event points with a two-way. Uh, first, the exploration and second, playing the objective. So for the exploration pass, you will be able to earn event points smashed in the gift boxes scattered around the world. For this event, all gift boxes have, have the same value. To, uh, so smashing one, event, uh, one gift box will give you two event points. But there will be different uh, number of gift boxes. So uh, around the world, you can find single event boxes, which gives you like obviously two event points, or you can find the Christmas tree, and there will there will be three gift boxes all the time under the Christmas tree, which gives you like six event points if you smash them all, or you can leave them up to you. <laughs> <laughs> And we have a video showcasing all of this to you guys. So let's just uh, take a look at the exploration and the, gi the gift boxes as well as the trees. So I think first we uh, start uh, with a shooting of a gift box. So basically you just go up to it, shoot it. And as you can see, you collect the points. Uh, this is uh, very similar to how the uh, pumpkin heads work. It's, and, it's uh, just as satisfying. <laughs> yeah. some, uh, like, like how someone in the chat just said, like gift boxes. <laughs> <laughs> And also, uh, you can see your points uh, collected uh, with the icon, as you can see. And then uh, you can not just shoot them, but stomp on them. So let's take a look what happens when you walk over the presents, which you probably shouldn't do in real life, because uh, yeah, don't don't try this very at home, rude. kid. <laughs> yeah, very rude. But in hunt, uh, hunters are really very rude. So just walk over that present and get the points inside. Uh, and then, uh, as Senia mentioned, you can also uh, uh, fight the trees and uh, find the uh, presence under them. So let's take a look at how that looks in game. So you can see there's like up to three presents uh, underneath that, which uh, obviously each of them gives you two points. So similar to what the Scarecrow was uh, during the Halloween event, like this is the big one. And uh, maybe you uh, notice that there are some sounds when you hit the boxes, which is... Uh, a very similar to our uh, humming theme but it seems like it's just a few notes and maybe we will have something cool to show you from our audio team <laughs> in a second so that's how uh the, the melee works with the presence but obviously you can also uh, shoot them yeah all, all three ways of interaction works like you can shoot presents you can melee presents and you can walk over presents to destroy them to collect points it's also important that collecting them always collects them for the entire team. So there is no competition between the different players in the same team. If you find a present, everybody gets the points. But Someone else, get can you get inside medicine. the trees? <laughs> 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 I, I mean, I think you would be pretty visible. I mean, it's a Christmas tree, uh, you know? <laughs> okay, and as I mentioned, the audio team actually uh, prepared something a little fun for you in our editor. For you to see with the gift boxes and uh let's just let's just let's just look at that guys so guys if you can replicate that uh i will definitely share that on our social media so make sure to send that to me <laughs> if you find enough presents to play the hunt song <laughs> <laughs> Let's just uh, take a look again because it's amazing. Yes, well, I don't know what to say. Our audio team is just probably the best, you know, like... Uh, <laughs> they certainly uh, are. <laughs> they always come up with fun surprises for you guys. Uh, yeah, so that was the exploration part. And uh, how else can we get uh, points, uh, Senia? Another way is to play in the objective. So you just follow in the, your main goal in the mission. So fight, fight and found in the boss. And on the way, you can collect points from the investigating event themed clues. 
not all clue are going to be uh, event themed. But once you will find a specific clue, you can investigate and also get points. And also, it's kind of similar to Halloween event, but it's a bit different right now. You can defeat any boss, not only one, but any spider, assassin, and butcher. And after the defeating, boss will drop five presents, which uh, in some uh, will give you 10 event points. Exactly. And uh, it also works on rifts uh, in uh, quick play. So it's not just uh, not just clues. So any objective. And uh, yeah, we should actually show you how that actually looks. So uh, why don't we just take a look at the clues first? <laughs> oh, they even make like uh, bell sounds. It's very cute. <laughs> <laughs> I think this may be my favorite version of the clue. It's uh Yeah, they look quite awesome. Yeah. It's very very rare seasonal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then oh, as I mentioned, we also have the rifts and the quick play. And they are a bit different. Yeah, they are like a demonic uh, Christmas tree, I guess. <laughs> Basically made out of this oh, like I, I want one for home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 burning a bit or smoking, Dennis. So I'm not sure if it would be best. <laughs> it's to perfect keep it. if I <laughs> the, the, the money Christmas trees for the wind. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can uh, see, it gives you five uh, event points. And then uh, the last, as uh, Senia mentioned, is by uh, killing any of the bosses. And we have an example here for you with the spider. <laughs> also, notice the little spider socks being like Christmas socks again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and to, to be mentioned that all bosses are go going to be dressed for this season. So all of them? Uh, all three? Yeah. Yep. Yes. All bosses have all like three. a little, little uh, celebration uh, stuff on them. <laughs> so but guess, everyone uh, have, has socks? Everyone has. Yeah, I mean, we, oh. we obviously for the socks we chose the one which has like the most socks it needs, right? Like it's it was very <laughs> cost effective for us to do it like that, I guess. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a butcher has very thick legs, so it would <laughs> it would be hard to give him true, some True, true. Probably need, 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 need to put on like some some hats instead of socks for the butchers. <laughs> yeah, awesome. So make sure you guys to check them out and uh, post your screenshots on Discord or social media so we can all see all the amazing uh, boss variations for this event. But let's move on from the points. Uh, I think we uh, have like a bit more explanation uh, about how you actually uh, collect them and how many you can get. But uh, we will talk uh, about that a bit later. But as uh, it was uh, the same with the Halloween event, even if you die during your hunt, the points you collected in that game are still yours. So you're not gonna lose them. Uh, not like your weapons or equipment, but you keep everything. So it's a good little extra and you basically have nothing to lose. And uh, again, we have a new accolade card uh, for the event itself, which is here. <laughs> as you can see, it's a, a small little present with some uh, maggots over it, as I can see it. And, uh, and some bugs under it, obviously. So it's probably from the assassin. So I hope you guys appreciate it, this little present. And uh, uh, it also gives you blood bones as every accolade. Uh, this image is just a mockup, so you can't actually see the blood bond icon in the corner. But uh, as always, the more uh, points you collect, the higher amount of uh, blood bones you get for it, basically. So don't worry, you will still get blood bones for that. And... Uh, the other huge part of this event, which is very different uh, from our previous one, is the integration of Twitch drops. And uh, how it works is uh, also different from our first Twitch drop campaign, so it's more like a mix between the two. So I think uh, we should uh, explain you how it exactly works, how you link your account, and uh, what it actually gives you. So uh, the first important part as I said, what you should all do, if you haven't done it already, is uh, linking your account. And uh, let's just take a look how you do that, because uh, you have to go to our website, uh, which is uh, huntshowdown.com slash Twitch, or I, I think. But uh, make sure to check out our social media, because we posted the links yesterday. 
uh, but uh, you should find it there and let's see how uh, you should interact with it. So yeah, awesome. if, you have any, if you have any issues with any of that, just hit us up on Discord. Uh, this also, we're going to put that, that, that guide out for everybody. So just follow us on social media and you'll be able to link everything in time. Exactly. I mean, while I put the link in the chat, so it's actually uh, huntshowdown.com slash Twitch drops. So not Twitch, but Twitch drops. Uh, you can use your Steam account, uh, your uh, PSN account, uh, Xbox account, uh, whatever, and you can uh, connect it, and that way you can earn points. But it's very important to uh, do that because otherwise you won't be getting any. So first, make sure to connect your accounts so we can actually track your points. And one thing to add that actually it's not necessary to go only with the website. You can actually reach the landing page for linking your account with the game we are the event page where i mentioned that we have this nice banner so you can actually click on the banner and you will be redirected to the web uh, web page where you can link your account yeah exactly and uh, i think uh, we can actually uh show that in a video as well uh how it works in game and how it looks in game so let me just quickly show you that so as you can see if you uh click there it also gives you the pop-up on the uh, steam and then you can directly uh, link your accounts there and it also shows the participating uh, streamers uh, who we have for this event so make sure to uh, check the list and see who is alive at the time and uh, by watching them you earn the points for the event which we will get into in just a minute for you how it exactly works as you can see we have a good amount of streamers so uh, yeah, it's, it's a good mix of, of uh, bigger streamers, also smaller streamers. We try to get some of our locals, um, obviously, but also try to get a couple of new faces in that we're really interested in trying this out as well. So yeah, it should be a huge list. Maybe maybe recognize some of the names there as well. Yeah, and in our video, you already probably seen Archie and a few others <laughs> for just for the explanation. But you can find a complete list by going to our website or directly from the game. And... Uh, you can also actually find the whole FAQ uh, uh, section in the bottom and like the explanations for the rules. But we are here for you to go over that. So uh, let's just talk about that. So uh, the one important thing to mention uh, is that uh, when you collect the points by watching the streamers, you have to restart your game and uh, then the points will appear right away. So it's very simple, but... Uh, don't be scared if you don't see your points while you're in game and watching your stream at the same time. Uh, you just have to restart your game basically and the points will be added. So no worries there. All right, uh, let's uh, break down the points, Senia. How, how, how does it actually work and how many points do we get by watching the streams? Well, that actually works pretty, pretty simple. So for every 30 minutes watching, player will get guaranteed 10 points of event progression, event points, which will be automatically added, added to progress bar, uh, just like you mentioned. So after the client restarted, player actually will see the pop-up telling him that how many points player gained. Exactly. So uh, for every team, uh, uh, 30 minutes, you can get three points and uh, you can... There yeah, there, there, there is a bit, <laughs> a bit more details that every day players can earn up to 100 event points. So after, after this, uh, when they reach like daily limit for Twitch, Twitch drop points, they can keep watch their favorite streamers for sure, but they will not earn event points for this day. So they can come back tomorrow and start to earn points again. Uh, in total, during the whole uh, 
uh, winter went, player will be uh, will be able to earn up to 300 points that might be added to like any time on on their progression. So even if players like even even if they're filling the progress bar and unlocking the legendaries, if if they already like watched uh, this amount needed amount of time, uh, Twitch drop points will be added to the progression. Or if they already earning uh, bonus points, that will be converted to bonus part a bit later about this. That points also might f can can fall at this part. And yeah. this is something that we, that was very really important for us. It's like so. Last time we had the Halloween events, um, whenever people reach like a certain limit, right? Um, um, it was kind of like okay, well, from this point on, this why, why go for for ever, like further for for any of the of the uh, pumpkins back then? And uh, so we want to make sure that they still matter, uh, even even if you've if you've reached your your daily uh, quota. So that's why it's important for us to give you something for that as well, with the bonus. But as you can see that uh, it's actually quite a lot of time if you uh, calculate it. So 100 points would take you, I think, five hours uh, to get like that. So uh, it's not the easiest. So in total, you can get 300 by watching 15 hours. But obviously, you can get the points in the game as well. So yeah. I think it's a great balance between the two. And yeah, uh, just, keep, just keep in mind that the uh, duration of this event actually like one week more than previous. So we have like 14 full days. So it's like it's a uh, reachable, reachable cap. Yeah, we and also, also everyone is we on holiday, so exactly. <laughs> we also we also calculated it obviously with the with the holidays in mind. So we expect people having some time not this week, and then having some time uh, to like the days after after uh, Christmas is over, for example, uh, or whatever respective holidays you're celebrating, and uh, just gives the people like enough time to maybe while they have some some downtime um, to to invest in the event, just play a little bit, have some fun. And uh, I think there's one more important point to mention here. Uh, yes, there is a very important point. Uh, as you could remember from Halloween, for in-game event points, there will be caps applied. It remains the same for this event, but for Twitch drop points, there, there will be a bit different rules. So, players still capped on 100 points that they can earn via Twitch, but if they earned amount of points that above on the daily cap, they will not lose these points earned via Twitch, but these points will be credited next day when uh, lock is suspended. So let's let me let, let me explain you with example. So imagine the first day uh, lock is two hundred points, and you already earned in game like interacting with the event object like smashing gift boxes, defeating the boss, finding Christmas tree. You already earned one hundred fifty points. And then you also watched uh, your favorite streamer, and you earn. 100 points via Twitch. So you have 150 points. We are adding to you 50 points from your earned Twitch drop pool, and leftovers like an, uh, another 50 50 uh, Twitch drop event points will be added next day. So you're actually not losing them. We are just we we just crediting them a bit later. Yeah, you and can the... always see the progress on the bar, obviously. So just keep keep track of the bar uh, with every day, and you'll see exactly how much you got there from all the different ways you can get it. So someone asked, what happens if, uh, let's say, they watch 15 hours in the very first day? Would they uh, like? Would it work for consecutive days as well? So would they get the points for three days, basically, like in three days' time, or is it just for the next day? No, because if if you're following the rules, Twitch the Twitch drop points uh, themselves locked at 100 points. So you can earn only points after five five hours watching. As I, as I mentioned, you of course can keep watching your f favorite streamer after this, but you will not er uh, earn points. So 100 points per per day via Twitch. That's it. <laughs> okay, but so the overflow points. Uh don't work if you watch more o overflow points meant here as a overflow for summary you know for for in game, game cap. and twitch for, okay. for, for for in game cap yeah i think that's important to mention because uh, uh i think some people already got confused so yeah so basically your in-game points uh will still overflow and count but from twitch you are capped at 100 a day um yes 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 <laughs> okay cool <laughs> All right, so that's for uh, how to earn Twitch uh, by points by watching Twitch uh, streamers and uh, enable streamers. So again, make sure to check our whole list out and uh, join join the fun. Uh, talk to them, have fun with them, and uh, yep. you should play as well.
to get it, everything. <laughs> it's, it's basically just like a couple couple notes extra on this one. So so as you know, like from the Halloween event, for example, we had like this boost consumable, right? Where we we um, gave players like the chance to to buy warm seed shots and gave them a few a, a few of them like uh, for free in the beginning, and then there was a, was able to boost the event that way. This time around, we want to try something different. So the boost technically is our Twitch campaign. Right? This is when you can get additional stuff. We can speed things up. So we're trying to experiment a little bit with these type of things, trying out different mechanics, just to see what you guys like, uh, what we could improve. So as we do the first couple of events, we we try different 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 mechanics, different different approaches, and see what sticks. Exactly. So uh, that's for the Twitch rules and uh, how it works. But uh, let's look at uh, how the unlocks work and how you actually unlock uh, stuff. And then we will even maybe show you what you can unlock. So let's look at the rules of the ex uh, exclusive. So we have a uh, similar event, pro event progress bar that contains uh, this time five uh, exclusive rewards, legendary rewards, and in between rewards like uh, blood bonds, hand dollars, and pack of consumables. Exactly. So uh, we also have a video to show you here how the progression uh, works. So let's take a quick look together. So as you can see, uh, it shows uh, what uh, item you unlock when. And uh, you can see the uh, the locks and also uh, like the progress bar in general, like at how many points, uh, event points, uh, what you exactly got. So you can see it's uh, not just the exclusive rewards uh, you get, you get those at the bigger checkpoints, but you get some extra blood points or uh, consumable here and there, like concerting a bomb. So uh, you can actually collect quite a lot of uh, items and blood bonds to buy even more skins if you would like or clean all your weapons for the holidays. <laughs> Although you can also find gun oil now. <laughs> yeah, true, true. So the last one with 100 blood bonds is quite a lot actually. And as you saw, maybe there's like a really cool skin at the end, but we will show you everything in a bit. So that's how the progression works. And uh, we have daily caps, as you've seen it on the picture, but maybe Senia can uh, explain you how that works in the inside the game. Yeah, exactly. We have daily caps uh, uh, again. So which is like every daily cap uh, is your milestone. Like every uh, every cap is a legendary. So uh, for first first day, players will be capped at 200 points. Next day, 400 points, 600 points, 1000 points, and after this, there will be no lock implied. So actually, there is uh, like 10 days without any locks, but for only only for the for the start of the event. Um, the another a new thing that we decided to add this time, since uh, Dennis already already briefly mentioned this, that player might feel unnecessary to interact with the event object one they got capped uh, during the day so this time when player reached the cap which is like first again just an example first day 200 points players already earned 200 event points so they are capped and they are no longer earning event points for this day but instead of event points players still can interact with the event, event objects like gift boxes uh, clues and uh, instead of uh, event points, they will get hunter XP. You can you can actually as a player you can read it on the event page once you get uh, capped. There will be notification that you reach the daily limit for event points for today, and you will earn hunter XP uh, uh, hunter hunter XP with uh, for interacting with the uh, event related objects, which are gift boxes and uh, clues and rifts. Yeah, I think it's a really good change because we got some feedback on that that some people maybe reached the points too quickly and then they felt like not uh, it doesn't mean anything anymore. But I think this is a great way to actually level up your hunter by just participating in the event still. And we can actually also show you this one in the video as well. So as you can see, your points are logged, but you got 200 hunter EXP. Yes, you can see on the screen that there is like log that showing that you are no longer earning event points. But instead, you see the ticker that instead of event points showing you hunter XP. Exactly. Cool. So uh, that's basically how the unlocks work, and we still have uh, like one uh, image for you just to show the whole screen again once more. Uh, 
in the top obviously uh, of the page i don't know where i'm pointing yeah there you can see the whole <laughs> bar at the very top with the event itself and then uh, you can see it in more detail you can see the whole duration and uh, each unlock you can hover over read what it is look at it and uh, that way you can unlock all the legendaries and uh, as we said you have two weeks to do that so you can also read up on the lore as well so quite some interesting stuff put together again by our narrative guys you've seen already probably recently the blog post we put out if you haven't please check it out it's really really cool as well about uh, yeah christmas lore and winter lore and seasonal lore uh, over the years from the point of view of 1895. exactly and if i may uh do a little teaser we will actually have a lot more winter story time on our uh, blog post so make sure to check out the new section of huntshowdown.com and in the next coming days we will have a lot there so make sure to read everything because it's very fun uh our narrative uh, team put a lot of work into it and uh, i think it's really cool to read and very interesting so make sure to check back time to time and uh, read it because it's very cool but now that we talked about how you unlock uh, the rewards why don't we just uh, look at the actual rewards and uh oh, yeah. what they are i can't wait i can't wait <laughs> <laughs> so yeah as we said exclusive legendary so exclusive basically means that uh you can only unlock it uh, during the event and not after so we do have a launch bonus again so that basically everybody who is participating in the event that means everybody who is uh, like starting the game while the event is running they will get a little login bonus and for that we do have an exclusive reward like last time actually i have a question already uh, what happens if let's say someone hasn't played the game yet or didn't log in but watched streams and connected his twitch account would, would they I, get? Think th it, I think it is a login bonus um so which you have to log into the game you have to you have to log into the game yeah and uh, this time that's an exclusive legendary mat kit you know it's the holiday season it's like uh giving health and life to everyone so uh you get a very cool mat kit which we will take a look right now and it's called cold snap as you can see it's uh very winter themed and a bit bloody still very but cold. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it looks very cool and uh yeah, of course, uh, everyone's favorite part is... <laughs> Go for it! <laughs> yeah, so let's just uh, get it over with. <laughs> so, uh, this first aid kit is designed to bind wounds in cooler climates. Clasped with a snowflake stamped buckle, this is sure to ward off death's icy hand for a while. And uh, we actually have one more image for you to show it, like how it would uh, look actually in game or like on a table. And it's a very fancy and it will ward of that as you heard it so make sure to I, get it and heal everyone with it <laughs> i really like the stitch on like uh, abstract little snowflakes uh yeah, i think it's really nice it's like what's important for us with all of these uh skins similar to what we've already done with the um the halloween event is like while they're very obviously strongly themed towards the season or the specific um like uh, theme of of an event they have to work throughout the year, right? So that's why we, we didn't want to put it like 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 sugar cane type of uh, uh, like 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 weapons in it because they would actually be dead in all the year, and I think that would be a bit weird and maybe uh, potentially even a bit of immersion breaking for some people. So so everything we do in that regard is trying to make sure that it works in hunt in general, but has a clear theme still attached to it. I think it's only hunt uh, where you can get like a cute little mat kit with little snowflakes on it, and it's still very bloody <laughs> everywhere. So. <laughs> Well, it's a blood and ice event. <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> but so that's just a login bonus, which everyone gets if you log in during the time on any consoles. But we obviously have the unlocks that you can uh, get exclusively during the event again. Uh, and uh, we have four legendary weapons this time and one legendary hunter i think maybe you've seen the hunter in our little teasers and trailers <laughs> some of the weapons maybe too if you if you look yeah carefully. some of them yeah and uh but let's let's take a closer look at them and learn more about them how they look in the, in the 3d viewer and uh, what they actually are yeah so we go our... through them in a, in a chronological order so this is basically the order in which you will unlock them as you progress through the event exactly so the very first unlock you get uh, i'm not sure how much points you need maybe xenia can that's for first again for for first milestone 200 points and you will get the first legendary uh weapon yeah. which is every a better time, early 
Exactly. Every time you reach a milestone, every time you reach like the daily cap, you will have unlocked one legendary skin. So there's a good takeaway. Even if you might be capped a little bit after that, you still have that really cool new exclusive legendary earned by that time. And you can obviously then use it directly and have fun with it. So, uh, yeah, this is how it looks, guys. I think it's really awesome, actually, with the roses all over and the little wintry blankets covering it. And also the whole gun is silver, which is pretty unique, I think. So this is this is what you need to do if you if you if you if you have owned like a airsoft gun or like a proper gun if you're living in a country that can do that, uh, you can just wrap your 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 ugly Christmas sweater around them afterwards. <laughs> well, you know I have the hunter Christmas sweater. This should be on it. <laughs> and uh, you know like the lower part again. So let's just uh, see what it is all about. So. A white rose that uh, blooms in winter was once thought a sign of uh, impending death. And in the case of this rose engraved Watterly, you would be correct. Though the sight of its bloom is likely an omen of your death in any season. So as Danny said, it's not just for the winter, but you can kill hunters or bosses or monsters with it all the time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we also have a table render for it again, so you can take a closer look. Uh, in actual like in-game lighting and atmosphere i think it looks super pretty actually i like it i like the colors yeah. of it it's, it's something fresh also and uh for this one as it's a weapon uh, we thought we would show you how it looks in the 3d viewer so why don't we take a look i actually really like this one like uh, this may be my favorite battery skin because it's like uh, the whole gun is silver and not like the typical color like that the reddish hue but like completely white it's nice you can really imagine like some norwegian hunter or so like just uh, kind of trying to 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 prepare his weapon like that yeah Awesome, but this is just the first unlock and we actually have uh, three more and the hunter. So let's look at the second one you can unlock, which is Nutcracker. So uh, how many points do they need to get this one? For this you need 400 points. So 400 points and you get the Nutcracker, so you can crack some nuts, I guess. Uh, and it's yeah, a legendary for, right? Yeah. <laughs> the name is pretty self-explainable. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Well, yeah, like some, yeah, I don't want to say anything, yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's like... Everything yeah. just inside your mind bends, there is just well, well, I was just thinking of so, hunters, so, uh, yeah. So, so, so you might, you might obviously be struggling now with walnuts and chestnuts and other things now that, that like maybe normally a nut cracker cracks with, but maybe, maybe there's new opportunities. <laughs> exactly, very well said, and uh, <laughs> let, let's read uh, the lore of this uh, beautiful one as well. So, this ornate duster were fashioned from what was once a fine table ornament, and now they can crack a lot more than just walnuts. <laughs> I think this was also referring to what I was thinking, but... <laughs> 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 but it looks beautiful. Sadly, we don't, uh, uh, don't want to show you this in the 3D viewer, but we got you now some render where you can see it. So just look at that with all the walnuts on the table. Very festive, indeed. All, the, all, all those uncracked walnuts. Well, there's some cracked. I mean, at least <laughs> the insides are there, right? But it seems like that's their dinner. Like, there's nothing else on the table, really. So, hunters so, yeah. are on a very low-calorie <laughs> diet, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so that was the second unlock. But uh, we have more, and uh, this may be a fan favorite for a lot of you, which is Hailstorm, uh, legendary Mozindagan sniper. And uh, oh, yeah. how many points do we need for this? 600 600 so yeah. let's take a look uh this is uh the render and uh, as you can see it's very uh camouflaged the uh, sniper best skin ever yeah dennis i can already see you <laughs> sitting in the houses with this one <laughs> No, I really, really like this one. Uh, it's like uh, my personal highlight. Um, I was very, very happy when we discussed that. And uh, yeah, let's read the story as always. So, uh, 
<laughs> Though rage burned hot within the Siberian sniper who first bore this elite Mosin, each shot taken was as coldly calculated as the frost that trimmed the dark line of pines from which it easily picked off grunts with precision. One by bloody one. I love how every little lore text has like a punch line ending. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, let's take a look at it on the table as well. How it would uh, look in the game more. It's really beautiful and very stealthy. It gives gives you definitely some Vasily Zaitsev wipes there, right there. I yeah. really like it. And uh, yeah, let's take a look in the in the three D viewer as well. You know, like the scope is. Uh, wrap basically how i wrap my christmas present that's my skill level <laughs> with these little <laughs> strings randomly <laughs> i'd all like to break up the silhouette but uh i really mm -hmm. like this one i'll i shall i shall be taking this into the bayou quite a bit uh and and put my my bunny uh, on the shelf for the moment <laughs> so just let's take a last look and then i think we can show what everyone has been waiting for which is the skinflint legendary hunter so uh he may remind you of uh something but his skinflint our own very legendary hunter and uh you can only get it during this event so make sure to finish it and you get it at a thousand points if i'm correct Yes, you're correct, and that's the highest, uh, highest reward in the event progression. Okay, and uh, let's let's read a bit about him. So, Timothy Stone pledged his life to the American Hunters Association after an encounter with three strange uh, apparitions. As a hunter, he will become known for being slow to uh, his wallet, but quick to his rifle. He is uh, definitely uh, very cool, and... Uh, Let's uh, take a look at him, uh, how it would look when you actually select him in your roster. He, I think he fits this uh, snowfall pretty well. I can really see him and the, the black coats, uh, maybe even Billy, like going into Bayou together as a trio. I think it would be really amazing. I wonder what is the little book he's uh, hiding there? Uh, you'll find out soon. <laughs> Yeah, let's take one more look because uh, we actually can see his face a bit more in this video when we zoom at it. And yeah, this is the final unlock, guys. So I think it's worth playing just for this because it's really cool. Awesome. So yeah, that gives us basically four legendary unlocks, one for free, three to earn with points, and then as a grand finale, the exclusive hunter. All of those only available while the event is running. So make sure you participate, get those points, find those uh, like those 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 gift packages, and make sure you you get those points up. And then let's see the bonus points, which some of you actually just been asking in the chat as well. So it's quite different uh, this time than it was last time, and maybe Cynia can tell us how it works in this event. Um, well, from the mechanic, it works exactly the same like last time. Once you unlocked your last uh, legendary, you're still able to collect event points, which will be converted when event concluded to the hunt dollar. So that should keep in, uh, you should keep in mind that it will not be initial conversion, but uh, right after the event uh, is done. So this time, in, uh, we will convert uh, event points with exchange rate one to one to hundred dollars but this time uh the threshold is uh, increased and you can actually earn up to ten thousand hundred dollars so which m makes event actually just relaxably to play so you can just keep playing interact with the event object collect points like pretty long because like uh, we put this number ten thousand uh, points extra which is like you you not be capped again after after you reach it how how it happened with the with the Halloween event, but right now you can just play collect points and after uh, event is uh, finished you can you you get uh, converted uh, converted them into the hundred dollars. Now the smart player might think now oh maybe I should wait with my next prestige uh, right. Uh... <laughs> right before that right so that i can do the prestige and then once the event concludes i can get this insta big chunk of money as a payout 
just an option. <laughs> yeah, that is giving the ideas already. Uh, <laughs> I see some question uh, about this. Like, uh, so we mentioned that when there's a lock, you can earn hunter exp. But so what happens yeah. if if you complete the event, then uh, you don't get hunter exp anymore? Is that correct? But you get these extra points, or? Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but it should work exactly <laughs> like this because it's uh, it's the same cap. Like end of the event, it's the same cap. Okay, makes sense. Cool. Uh, and uh, I think that was uh, everything about the uh, event that we uh, summarized for you. But uh, now it's time for your questions that you may have about the event. Let's start with the first one because I've sort of come up like in the last uh, last minutes here. Uh, like, oh, well, but where's the fourth weapon? Well, if you count, there have been four weapons. One for free, three during the event, and then the hunter. So four weapons total, and then the hunter makes five items to unlock. Exactly. I mean, maybe they think that uh, a mad kit is not technically a weapon, but you can punch while having a mad kit. So, you know, it counts, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everything is weapon if you're brave enough. <laughs> exactly. Uh, start date, guys. It's actually already uh, begun, so it has been up for 20 minutes, guys. So you can already play and uh, collect the points. So it is already live. Uh, someone is asking if, if the new hunters uh, had the jiggles like the bear man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't th I don't think I don't think there's jiggles on the on on the top head. <laughs> the bear bear man has to remain very special for us here. Uh, so many questions. Wow. Uh, uh, there's a question about like let's say let's say with the with the with the weekly head maybe about uh, the hitbox. So hitboxes are the same as for every other model, right? All of our models have the same hitboxes, which means um like the bear uh, uh, uh hat on the on on the mountain man, or any sorts of top hats like we see on 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 uh, skinflint here. They basically don't allow you to hit the character. You basically just shoot through that hat uh, without any effect. Uh, so someone was asking if uh, will explosives work on the gifts or is it just yeah. shooting or punching? systemically it's it's damage right like so so however you damage if, if you want to blow up the tree you can try at least the, the presence will blow up um, and the moment you do damage to these things you either melee them you shoot them you do indirect damage with a barrel next to them whatever you should be getting those points added just as you were basically killing an ai or a player etc like the instigator goes back to the player that did it and he will be awarded the score uh so another question uh are the old fish drops uh, items available now again and uh, will the winter items be available let's say next winter event or not <laughs> well let's first start with one winter <laughs> end maybe um <laughs> So what we what we said during the last Twitch drops campaign is that whenever we do the next Twitch drops campaign, which this time around is not the Twitch drops campaign, right? It's terminology. We're just using Twitch drops to support this event. Um, but when we do the next big Twitch drops campaign, yes, the plan is to then also allow people to still get their hands on the on on the content from the last campaign. But uh, for this one here, this is about a Christmas event, so everything isn't themed to Christmas and not to, there's no there's no Billy, there's no other weapons around this. So you have to wait for the next twitch drops campaign for those um, to be offered up again obviously with something new in addition and uh, you can expect that with the next christmas event something similar will happen as well with this with the with the christmas skins from this year and just to jump on this topic uh, i also see a lot of questions in the chat regarding like hey can i get the reward from the previous campaign and twitch this twitch drop no that's a completely separate the twitch drop uh activity right now which is which means to uh, to help you progress in the current event. So there is no uh, single drop of the legendary, any skins or nothing, you collect in points with this Twitch drop. So they are not connected. You can't get rewards from the previous Twitch drop campaign, watching streams, right, participating right, right now. Yeah, it's it's basically the replacement of the warm seed shot we had on Halloween as a boost mechanic. So you can basically progress faster, get the score, and if you also, in addition to playing the game, uh, take a look at some of the streams, uh, to, uh, just uh, join with your your favorite streamers or maybe try some new streamers uh, that are participating with this and and get a couple of the points up to a total of 300 of the thousand that you can on uh, via that channel. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, a lot of people been asking, which we already explained, actually, that uh, can they earn all rewards with the Twitch drops, but you can earn 300 points. So 
I think that would be the first reward and very close to the second, uh, if I'm correct. Yeah, that's correct. Like if you're just watching the uh, Twitch uh, Twitch streamers, you can w you can earn uh, in total three three hundred points, which will be like uh, first login bonus, like. Uh, winter rose legendary and half of the progression to the next unlock yep exactly uh everyone asking about console yes guys it's on console as well not just pc so uh for all that asked that question yes you can already play it on console guys so i think maybe you have to restart the game possibly but uh it should be there and also for pc players it's the same and yes the christmas song is in the menu I just uh, yeah, I read that as well. Yes, it is. <laughs> New weapons in first year. Now we, uh, this stream is more about events, guys. So uh, please ask like very event related questions. So uh, we, we did, however, had a recent stream um, when we talked about um, um, like the, the blog post update for what's coming in 1.5 next year. And we did tease two additional unique weapons that will be coming with this update one uh, basically next year 1.5. So just have a look at the old dev stream, have a look at the old blog post that we already released on our web page and you can read up on that stuff as well. Uh, so someone is asking like what happens? Uh... If let's say you're playing with a team and some players at the cap of uh, the points, but let's say the other is not and the player at the cap picks up the points, then uh, how, how does that exactly work in the team? Does the rest still get the points or? So yeah, everybody gets what whatever they can get, right? So as we mentioned in the beginning, um, if one person of a team picks up or basically interacts with the present and, and, and it gets the points. Everybody in the team gets the points. If you, however, individually are already on your limit, well, you will receive instead, obviously, then uh, the, the, the bonus or the XP. So everybody will still participate. It's just that depending on your own personal progress, you will get either one or the other. Uh... Is there any booster like during Halloween event? We don't have the Worms issues, but we have the Twitch drops, so that's... Uh very similar to that i guess in uh, some way so that's your booster basically so if you watch streams you get points uh then uh, someone asked if they get get the halloween skins next halloween uh, i think there's not final decision but uh maybe we'll bring back all the seasonal skins uh next season it's possible uh what about servers it's on uh, every server we have it's not like region specific so i think uh if i'm correct it's the same time from everyone uh so it should be available in all regions all servers yep yes uh any update on the roadmap we actually updated our roadmap uh last last week i've well, yep. i'm not sure <laughs> no, we we updated it last week before yeah. the um basically before before the the the, the rollout of the last uh, 148 update. So if you go to to our webpage uh, huntshodan.com uh, slash roadmap, you can see basically everything updated there. What's in store, including like what's coming up with 1.5 next year. Okay, I think uh, that was most of the event related uh, questions. Someone asked to show the hunt sweater. I can show that. There you go. <laughs> It's uh, it's a spider in, in like a uh, Christmas theme, so uh, maybe you can check it out in our store. Uh, you will probably not get it in, in time anymore, sadly, for Christmas, but you can check it out. And if you don't like Christmas sweaters, you can also find other merch, right? Yeah, we have actually a bunch of hunt uh, merch. And on that point, you guys know we had the trade showdown contest, <laughs> and that will end this week. So we will have some winners uh, with uh trade arts and we will have some trade shirts and uh maybe sweaters in our merch store that you have been all asking for so yeah the... stores back up and also as you can see we have some weird obsession with birds lately so take yeah i don't know why that is though <laughs> 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 okay thank you guys i think that was it and uh as our last little point we just like to wish you all uh very happy holidays and happy new year in the name of the whole dev team uh we are very thankful for all your support and all your uh, feedback during the years and all your patience with us and uh, the help of the, in the development of the game itself. Uh, we are really grateful for all of you and uh, we hope we will have an amazing next year uh, with you all and uh, we hope to see you all in the bayou. Uh -huh. Enjoy the event, guys, and stay safe. Yeah, have thank you guys. Holidays. Yeah, happy holidays, <laughs> everyone, and uh, see you next year. Sometimes with 
update 1.5 i assume <laughs> so that's gonna bye be bye. very exciting bye bye, bye.